Hello Galaxy of Heroes. So, this is Fleet Battles Hard Node 5, whatever. It is the the Mandalore's, uh, Mandalorian, sorry, <clears throat> Mandalorian's node. And the reason why I'm fighting, well, I'm actually doing the battles, is because uh, I was asked to. Benjamin Burton, here you go, mate. So he asked for some combinations. Um, I didn't mix up the capital ships. So uh, this video is purely Executrix with a combination of Sith and Empire. Different starting lineups. Um, but yeah, that's that's what it is. I've got to be honest, it, it was a bit of fun. It gave me the opportunity. So as you can see on this one here, I'm looking and trying to work out. I'm thinking, okay, we'll throw in my, I believe they're gear 12. Uh, there, he is gear 12. Um, Darth Maul, the scimitar. Uh, I always think of Reliant for that, scimitars. They were, they were a beautiful car, an old car now, but very nice. Um, not as nice as Jensen's though. Jensen Interceptors are one of my oh, all-time favourite cars. Just love the look of them. Um, okay, so let's stop waffling about cars. So so basically, Scimitar um, underperformed woefully and decided not to take any further part in this particular battle uh never say never you may see a reappearance of said scimitar but maybe not from the starting lineup so <clears throat> these ones take a bit longer than the um i also did the grief node with grand admiral thrawn for four of them and then I just threw in a, a, a cheeky first order finalizer for the last one, just because I, I, I just wanted to use the finalizer. I don't really get too many opportunities at the moment to do so. But it was, it was interesting to see just how good this uh, tie bomber is. Um, we also have the uh, Sith Marauders bomber. The, I was it the B28 that's also going to be making appearances as I say it's a combination of Empire and Sith I tried I tr well actually as we will see going through these um, I did try some some various comps I mean uh, the tie the yes this new tie bomber is an Empire ship I believe um whereas obviously the the shuttle is i believe the shuttle is just sith palpatine's uh uber yeah i think it's Sith. Ah, uh, could be wrong um i did also kind of show the the selections of them so you can see the star ratings and i've just realized that what i didn't do is so uh, just just to point out, I, I mentioned, I touched on Darth Maul is gear 12. Um, so the TIE Advanced Darth Vader's ship is... that Everything except the TIE Bomber, I believe, that appears are 7 star. And virtually all of them, except for Gauntlet. Both of my Gauntlet crew members are gear 12. I... I almost, almost took them to 13. Glad I didn't because as I was having an R in, Jedi Knight Luke um, landed. And I'm not sure how much gear they shared, but um, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I think I, I made the wise decision there of going for Luke rather than relicking those two. Um, especially as they have zero... Mandalorian synergy, which um, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen there. I mean, I, I technically they're opposing forces, but they're Mandalorians, so 
Uh-huh. They're wearing the... Is it the best car? It is, it is best car, isn't it? Or is it best car? Uh, I'm sure I'm going to be corrected on which one it is. Or advised, at least. Hopefully, anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, we're on to a, a different one here. Um, unfortunately, the way it's set up, I can't see what my tank is. All oh, right, so it's the B28. I can see now because it did the bombing run. It was the bombing run, wasn't it? Yeah. As I said, I can't see it. Um, my re The recording info is directly over the bottom ship. So... But um, I think kind of one of an ever presence on all of this is the Imperial TIE Fighter. And sorry, I, I have to have a slurp. And the Imperial TIE Fighter pilot crew member, again, I think Relic 2, possibly Relic 3 now. Um, I did do a covering video going over all the crew members. I might tag it onto the other one because the other one is uh, the, the the fourth tier. This is the, you know, the fifth tier or, or whatever of... Um, the fleet battles and as you drop down them then they become easier so the second one is is five minutes shorter um i don't think it was spent with me really for around. just as a sidebar um i'm i'm loving the amount of shards that are dropping here you know it's almost as if we're gonna have to refresh to maximum to stand any chance of getting Mandalorian unlocked before something drops, which, um, yeah, yeah. I know I posted a, a comment on Reddit about the fact that a lot of kind of, not no mark, but like the, the Hoff brothers and shards keep dropping and there's all sorts of weird ones like rebels and, you know, I mean, they're, they're throwing lobot shards at us, uh, looks like we're going to be offered Ugnaught shards soon so yeah it's kind of it, it, it's it's yeah yeah i'm speculating um so what we've got here so this time around tie fighter pilot or imperial tie fighter uh with my gauntlet and again i can't see i think that's the b28 i could be wrong Apologies, as I say, I can't quite see it, and stupidly, I did these ages ago, and I didn't watch them back beforehand, but let's see if I turn it around. Nope, it won't change. Why won't it change? Okay, it won't allow me to change the viewing angle now, so yay me. Okay, we'll keep going. So Gordon, it's in there just to do his twirly bit. And maybe the odd ability block. Oh, look. I did say that there may be uh, a, a Darth Maul scimitar reappearance. And as if by magic. There we go. So, um, Retribution was there on them, I believe. Uh, it's gone now. Of course, scimitar will remove. If it, is it on a crit hit? I don't know. But it will actually remove... Um, a certain amount of turn meter of course you know any new players will not know that because there is nowhere that you can actually use those um so yeah once upon a time the meta was um well once upon a time the meta was mace and or um tarkin grand admiral tarkin old uh Peter Cushing himself. Fabulous dude. Love the old Hammer House horror movies where he used to play Von Helsing against Christopher Lee's Dracula. I'm quite interesting that they both actually ended up in Star Wars as well. So, yeah. Yay. Yeah. Quick trip down memory lane as uh, he talks over all the Shippy Whip stuff. So, okay. So, this is with... Um, <clears throat> I'm just get, trying to cover the ships that 
Benjamin was asking for. And I got a couple of more thumbs up on it. So it was like, whoa, it's not just, not that, it, that sounds wrong. I would have done it because I was asked to do it and it's something that I can. And um, as I said to him, it's no hardship. I'm farming for the Mandalorian. So um, it just means that, you know, I spent 15 minutes instead of simming five battles. Um, yeah, it's nice every now and again to use stuff that you haven't used in a while. Um, my Tarkin, I believe, is Relic 2. Uh, Gauntlet, not Gauntlet. The Ty Reaper, again, Ty Reaper, many moons ago, many moons ago, when ships first, well, when, when uh, Ty Reaper was finally... <laughs> we were able to access it again was a meta ship Ty Reaper's got some funky bits on it so it's got a dispel if there's no dispels it reduces the ship's cooldown and um it also has got like a, um a shielding thing that it will dish out to one of its ally ships as well like a heal sort of thing um yeah so I, I think I actually checked a few times on the abilities to make sure that I remembered that they did do what they said on the tin sort of thing. Because um, I was struggling, as I say. It's been a while since I've really used these ships. So um, what we're going to go for this time round. So that's the comp we ran a little last time so we're dropping you out and bringing in b28 um are we staying with the reaper and thing looks like we are there you go slightly different combo again so we've dropped just dropped out um one tanky ship or oh, one tank from the tie bomber to the B28 bomber. Um, my Marauder is Relic 5, I believe. Not quite fully succeed. Um, Gauntlet, Gauntlet's not doing too badly. Gauntlet has uh, a Relic 5 Shore and a Relic 3 Death Trooper. There we go. I actually remember who the crew members are. Wow. So, um, but I, I have tried to, to a large degree, work on any crew members i mean some have been enforced like example anyone that went for ray is scratching their head wondering what the hell they're going to do with a, a relic three uh, resistance pilot not a lot <laughs> is the quick answer there but i'm sure um any resistance fans will take great offense to that and there's probably a wonderful comp but i don't know what it's going against um maybe in grand arena or something but even then the comps that i'm seeing don't normally feature the pilot although the ship has some interesting features i know we're doing empire and that but i'm just uh yeah because i think if it comes in it's got a percentage chance of assisting other resistance allies so you're kind of getting sort of not quite a, a chewy-esque um you know, extra hit, but the, 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 the percentages are there. Um, so they're bringing in their gauntlet. Um, seem to be making a bit of a meal of this, but we've got... Who are we bringing in? I can't quite see. Oh, we, so this time round, um, opted to bring in Imperial TIE Fighter, um, who has... Um, a reducing turn meter that can't be resisted i think i think that's the the reinforcement um every ship that i've got that has a reinforcement has it um i, I have worked on my ships um to some degree uh, i think i've got the new y-wing and this Thai bomb are both at five star. Just waiting for those to come through so I can farm them up. Um, 
but I did a massive drive of maxing out everything that I could. Uh, we were pushing for, I think it was we were pushing for 45 stars on the, the, uh, uh, an older Hoth uh, territory battle or whatever. But that's it. That's, that's the end of this one. Thank you for watching.